we're going to have a look at creating a gallery in Adobe InDesign and putting it into a PDF here so this is the kind of thing we're looking at we've got multiple images and we've got a few buttons here that can control left and right this gallery okay and we use we create these using multi-state objects with Adobe InDesign so let's go back across to InDesign and have a look at how we will start to create this so first of all I need to place in a frame that is going to be the size of this gallery that I want okay and essentially what I'm going to do is put five images in all on top of each other and then convert that into a multi-state object so the first thing I'm going to do is choose this frame and what we can also do we can choose the frame fitting options before we actually put any content into this frame so to do that I'm going to come up to object come down to fitting and I've got frame fitting options here so We've probably all been aware in, in previous tutorials, if you have been following through, I've used this little button up in my control bar a lot. This is the auto fit or fit content proportionally button, which is really useful. So what I'm actually going to do for this particular frame is say fit content proportionally. Okay, so essentially before I put any content in it, when I place the content in, it's going to fit proportionally automatically. Okay, so I'm just going to click OK there. So I want five different images so I'm going to duplicate this frame five times so I'm just holding down my alt key going two three four and five okay so we've got five different frames all going to fit proportionally when I put content in so let's go to file down to place and let's get my images okay some of these nice holiday snaps we've got here so I'm going to choose one hold down my shift two three four and five okay and click on open <coughs> excuse me so I'm going to click on these frames one two three four and five okay I'm just going to select them all again so they all fit nicely within there so what I want them to do is be directly on top of each other okay directly on top so I'm going to select them all together and come again up to into my control bar I can align the horizontal centers and then I'm going to come up here and line the top edges as well and stick them all where I want them to be so all directly on top of each other okay so now I want to open up a panel which is under window and in the interactive I've got object states there so I'm going to open up my object states panel and with all of these images selected I'm going to click on the corner and go to new state just there so you can see now I've got a multi-state object of all those images and I might want to name that you know if you've got multiple multi-state objects you want to know which one they are so you can name it there and um, I'm only having one so that's fine by me so now I need to create a couple of buttons to sort of go left and right for this actual slideshow so what I'm actually going to do let's open up my buttons and forms I use one of the standard buttons that we've got in here in these libraries so let's open up sample buttons and forms here uh, I'll have a quick look through so again if you follow my other tutorials you can see how you can easily turn any any frame into a button so let me grab a left and a right arrow there and close that down so what I'm actually going to do is choose the left one stick it in position I'm going to choose the right one stick that over here in position and I'm just going to clear those button states okay and then I'm going to choose the button again and I'm going to click on to create it into a button again so on click I want this to be under animation here so okay we're going to create in a flash animation here so with this flash animation I'm going to have to export it as flash and re-import it in to make it work okay so basically what I want the right button to do is to go to the next state in that object state the object state is multi-state 2 so let's check that look so I choose my multi-state multi-state 2 choose my button go to next state on multi-state 2 so that's fine and I could have it stop at the last state if I want to but I want to mine to be on a bit of a loop going through there so let's choose the button on the left side as well okay so again I'll clear that button state 
because I just want to create my own and then make another button out of it. So on click, the action this time will be go to previous state. Okay, let me just check the other one actually. Yeah, so I've got go to next state and I've got go to previous state, both in the same multi-state object. Okay, so this works. This animation will work in Flash. Okay, if I export a Flash file, um, send that to anyone or upload that onto the internet, that will work. But because I want it to work in a PDF, we have to do something slightly different. I have to export this part here as a Flash animation. And then what I'm actually gonna do is re-import it in to my InDesign document. Okay, so it's a little bit long-winded, but uh, it should make sense as we, as we follow it through here. So let's close down my buttons and forms because I don't need that. So all I'm gonna do is select my button and my multi-state object. I'm gonna come up to File, come down to Export, okay, and I want to change it down here from Adobe PDF for print. I'm going to change it over to Flash Payer, SWF. That's what we're going to create, an SWF file, and click Save. Now, there's a couple of things that are quite important in these settings here. All I want to export is the item that I've selected. I don't want all the pages. I don't want the whole page. I want it all. And I don't need the HTML file because all I need is the little SWF file. Uh, the scale to 100%, that's absolutely fine. Okay, um, I changed the background to transparent. So the important thing here is the selection. So I've got just that selection exported. So I'm going to click OK and let that export itself. So really at the moment, when I generate a PDF of this document, this isn't going to work. So I'm just going to stick this to one side on my pasteboard. And I'm going to go to File, down to Place, Click on my desktop and find that little flash file, which is, I believe, in here somewhere. Here we go. So click on open, or is it going there? Oh, no, sorry, back here. Choose my little flash file, place it in there. Okay. So again, it doesn't do a very good job at previewing at the moment. So there's just, a, this will work when I do a PDF, but there's just a couple of other things I need to do. So I need to go into my media panel, which is over here, look. So this does actually preview my little flash file, okay? So I can see it's working in here, but what I want to do as well, I want this flash file to load immediately when the PDF opens. So I'm gonna click on play on load, okay? Otherwise I'll be left with a little symbol like this in my PDF, which means I need to click on it to make it work. But I don't want people to see that, I want it to load up immediately. And I want to change this poster to none. Okay, so it's just going to be the first slide that people see when they look at this PDF. Okay, so let's just quickly save off my document now. And I'm going to go to just check which page I'm on, which I believe is page three. Okay, so I'm only going to generate page three, so I just want to preview that. So I'm going to file, export change it back to interactive PDF, click save, uh, replace that, yeah, and I'm going to choose the range as only page three, so I just want to test this page and click OK. So when it opens this PDF, yes, so I'll go into full screen mode to preview this correctly, and here we have my little navigation there, take me through, backwards and forwards, through my little gallery space there. So again, it's all on one page. The important thing is we've got to export it as a flash file and re-import it back into InDesign.